All right, YouTubers, welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. And today, I thought we would do a release review and yes, a giveaway of the Pan Asian Tier 8 Premium Destroyer, the Fin Yang. But before we get started, I would like to explain my extended absence. Um, I'm going to make this really quick. We're in the process of selling our house, so there were lots of uh, cosmetic things we need to do for the house, painting, fixing up stuff. And um, during that process, um, I crushed my foot, which took several weeks to heal, and it needed to be elevated, so sitting at the desk was uh, not feasible. Also, um, after that, I caught COVID, which laid me up for a couple of weeks. So I want to take this opportunity to uh, thank everyone for their well wishes and support during that time. I am pretty much completely recovered from the COVID, except for a few little lingering um, issues from the virus. So, yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support and well wishes. So, that explains uh, my prolonged absence. Uh, there will be fewer videos because we're still trying to sell this house and move and you know that's going to take uh, quite some time. So, But I wanted to get these few videos out for you. Okay, so the Fin Yang was a Japanese Akazuki class destroyer built in 1945. She was transferred to the Republic of China Navy in 1947 and used as a training ship there until she was scrapped in 1963. There are only a couple of things that are better about this ship than the comparable at Kazuki, and that is that she has much better anti-air defense with the defensive AA fire consumable and she also has a pan-asian smoke generator everything else is worse especially the deep water torpedoes now unlike most of the deep water torpedoes that can not hit destroyers but hit everything else the Fin Yang's deep water torpedoes can only hit battleships and aircraft carriers. Aircraft carriers are hiding behind an island at the back of the map somewhere. So pretty much you only have battleships uh, to torpedo if they happen to uh, stray within your torpedo firing range. So yeah. In my opinion, her torpedoes are crap. So she must be a good gunboat, right? Well, she's not bad. Uh, but she does lose a lot in terms of firepower compared to the Akazuki. Due to the fact that her base reload is 5.2 seconds compared to the Akazuki's 3.0. Her HE shells have the standard 1.6 penetration, so you might consider IFHE to pin same tier destroyers. Overall, with the slow re reload and the crappy deep water torps, I've been mostly disappointed with this ship. Now we're going to take a quick look at her modifications, her upgrades, ammunition and consumables and the ship's captain I have assigned to her as that will affect the stats to come. Now because this ship is still classified as a test ship for me I do not have a service record to show you. If you're interested in a chance to win the Fin Yang stick around till the end of the video and I'll tell you how to enter the giveaway. So right to the equipment tab. The Fin Yang is a premium ship, so she comes fully modified. Upgrades, she has five upgrade slots. This is what I have selected. Main armaments modification in the first slot. Damage control system modification one in the second slot. 
aiming system modification in the third slot, propulsion modification in the fourth slot, and concealment system modification in the fifth slot. Armament, she does come with high explosive, armor piercing, and the deep water torps. As you can see here, they only deal damage to carriers and battleships. Consumable, she has five consumable slots compared to the Ekazuki's four with the addition of the defensive fire. Um, you cannot do anything to these except rearrange their order. So, let's take a look at her basic stats as she sits right now and then we'll add the captain to her. Armor layout, this is the ship's armor, 19 millimeters and 13 in the superstructure. Survivability, 19,700 hit points. Artillery, main battery is four times two, 100 millimeters. They fire out to 12.5 kilometers. Base reload, 5.2 seconds. Turret traverse, 11.3 seconds. Maximum dispersion, 101 meters. Maximum HE shell damage, 1,500. Chances of fire is 8.5%, but you're probably going to go IFHE, so that kind of negates that increased fire chance. HE shell penetration is 17 millimeters. So, AP shell, maximum AP shell damage, 1,900. Torpedoes. She has one launcher, four tubes. They're 610 millimeters. They only damage battleships and carriers. They fire out to a range of 12 kilometers at a speed of 67 knots. Her AA defensive score is 65. Her maneuverability, maximum speed 34.6 knots. I do believe I have Sierra Mike uh, on signals, so let's check that right quick. Yes, plus 5%. So, Sierra Mike, um, turning circle radius 730 meters with a rudder shift of 4.5 seconds. Concealment. Detectability range by sea, 6.8 kilometers, and by air, 3.2 kilometers. So, that is how the ship is set. Let's add her commander. Alright, I have a 19 point captain on this ship, and this is how I have the points distributed. But, remember, don't pay any attention to this. The commander points... Uh, system is getting ready to be completely changed so we'll go over it real quick these are in no particular order tier 1 skill priority target tier 2 skills expert marksman and last stand tier 3 skills torpedo armament expertise basic firing training which decreases the reload time and tier 4 skills IFHE and uh, concealment. So let's see. That took my reload down to 4.7 and my concealment down to 6.1. So yeah, this is how I have the ship set up. Let's take a quick look at the exterior. Um, I have the Type 10 Fin Yang on here seven uh, these are my signals and flags so yeah this is how I have the Finn Yang set up why don't we hop in a game and see what I was able to do with her here we go all right let's check these other DDs so we have survivability they have torpedoes 
They have artillery torpedoes, but we have survivability a little bit. Let's check the friendly. Um, yeah, we do outclass the friendly a little bit. So, neighbors, no CVs in this game. Yay. I've been getting dogged by CVs. This ship already um, gets out detected by some other ships. You can only hit aircraft carriers and battleships with your torpedoes. Hey, somebody noticed me. Look at there. Um, yeah, lost my train of thought. Yeah, you can only torp. CVs and battleships, which really, really bothers me. Um, the other deep water torpedoes, at least you could hit the cruisers. So you know you're not going to outgun a cruiser for the most part. And if they're anything familiar with this ship, then, and players will become familiar with this ship. So they will know that you won't be able to torp cruisers and they'll just run you down and gun you down because, you know, they know you can't torp them. So, yeah, maybe we can find some lumbering battleships to torp in here. But sometimes I guess I just need to show a little more patience extend a little too far sometimes because I want to torp a battleship because I want to use my torps and uh yep yeah, overextend a little bit and get caught out so uh, learn from my mistakes hopefully I won't do this this is a Minnesota If he keeps his heading, he's already in our torque range. I'll go ahead and use that reload booster. He's turning away. So, we'll hold on to those for somebody else. Or maybe he'll come back this way. Those torps are definitely going to miss. Activated. Yep. Main turret critically damaged. Critical, Critical engine, engine damage. damage. So, yeah, we are going to stay away from that radar ship. Problem, Problem solved, sir. sir. I can't torp him, so I don't want to mess with him. We have more battleships up north, so I'm going to head over to this northern, northeastern side of the map. Boswana um, deal with those guys over there. At least he can torp the cruisers. I'd like to get that Musashi. Ooh.
Minnesota and a Scharnhorst over there, but they're pretty much out of torpedo range. Engine, Engine boost, boost deactivated. deactivated. So we got two destroy enemy destroyers um, prowl in this area. Four battleships, which is nice to have four in a general area. Gives me more torpedo targets. But I gotta watch out for those two destroyers and got the Prince Yugen and the Azuma coming over this way. Sashi? Oh. Uh -oh. Smoke up. I hit the Masashi with two. Got a couple of rounds on the enemy destroyer. Hit the Musashi again. That's nice. Maybe I can set him on fire. But I am running FHE, so my fire chance is not as good as normal. Oh no. Dang it. Engine boost Dang it. Activated. Dang it. Taking on water oh, projects. that was most unfortunate. Maybe I can set this Musashi on fire. This is not the most maneuverable destroyer you're ever going to play. So, yeah, I'm down to a quarter of my health. Back up into the smoke. Let's see if I can get concealed again. Uh oh, somebody's aiming at me. It's time to move. Time to move. So, no fires with IFHE selected. Um, this destroyer does have a, a somewhere around like an 8% chance of setting fire, but I've selected IFHE, so that kind of negates that little fire uh, boost. There's some enemy torps, and what's wrong? Drop down to 31 frames per second for a second. And. Okay, yep, something was happening, so I thought I would just hide here behind this island for a second, but it seems to have corrected itself. This PC is like nine years old, and the only reason it's still functioning is uh, Engine boost I had a deactivated. subscriber who basically purchased me a video card um, when my, what was it, 970? No, yeah, no, a 780, I had a 780 Ti, and when it bit the dust, the subscriber was nice enough to uh, purchase me a 
1060, so the only reason why this computer is still functioning at all and you're still getting videos. I do have a new computer spec'd out what I want in a new computer, but uh, that will be a while. We'll just have to struggle with this one. But back to the game. The Musashi is almost dead. If I can hit him a couple of more times, or he might go down Next right now. Set. Oh, he's still alive. 1900. Nope, 3000. So he's gaining health. See if I can move up a little bit. But I don't have much health. 3116. That, what is it? La Fantasque? French Destroyer? Is that what it was? I don't even remember. But if I run into him, he can put me down quick. Either destroyer can put me down quick. So I really need to be careful. There's Serahatsu. That's how you pronounce it. Over there in that smoke screen. So I can't even torp into the smoke screen and hit him, which is what I would try to do. There's the other enemy destroyer right there. I need smoke in... I can get smoke in 20 seconds. I would like to have it now. So we're just gonna hold here on this side of this rock for a minute. Getting ready to get smoke and Five, four, three, two, one, and smoke. smoke I have no idea where he is now. Dang it! Woo! It could have done me in. Sure, I'm gonna have some torpedoes coming this way. Okay. Now I've got the Massachusetts targeted. That's what I was trying to target before. Come on, where is he going? Is he going to back up? Hit him. Oh, Sarahatsu right there. La Fantasque right there. I think we're gonna move just a little bit. Engine boost activated. Just lost a York over there. I'm the only destroyer left. I really don't want to push too far out and get taken out and left leave both of these dis enemy destroyers to you know just have a free for all. Detected. Who saw me? Who saw me? Somebody's aiming. Look up here behind this rock. Minnesota right there. Sarahatsu right there.
Hopefully nobody sees me when I come out around here. Alright. Sarahatsu is dead. And the Fantasque right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh oh. Alright. Woo! Alaska finished him off. Deactivated. The Musashi is turning. The Massachusetts is behind the island. I think the Musashi may come right beside that island to front out the Iowa. All right, I just used my last torpedo reload booster. Let's see if I can close in a little bit more. On the Musashi and the Massachusetts, or possibly port the Minnesota if need be. But after I launch these next torps, it's going to be uh, like a minute and a half, almost two minutes, before I can get another set. So this may be my last set. All right, minute 45 seconds left before I get more torps. Let's smoke up. Time to do damage with guns. Come on, daddy needs a fire. Two torpedo hits. Now we got two low health battleships. Give me a fire. Oh, there's one. All right. Destroyed an enemy battleship. Team is taking the lead. Yay. I sank something. Thought I was going to get that second battleship, but he got taken out. So, 2,256 health left. Um, minute and 30 seconds left in the game. So, yeah. We have entered the Opera House. I'm not going to get down there and mess with that radar ship. No way I could get down there. No way I can get in the cap circle, but I will at least head in that general direction. Blaze 1209 in the Alaska. Picked up the Kraken. Looks like we're gonna finish with 92,000 damage. So these torpedoes do 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 good damage when they hit, but I just really hate being restricted on my targets. Ten, about 10 seconds left. It's the final countdown. 
All right. Let's take a look at these stats. See how we did. Not too impressive. 370,000 credits. 3,700 XP with 214 free XP. Got 92,000 damage, 130 hits, 5 torpedo hits, 1 incapacitation, 1 ship destroyed, and caused 4 floods. Spotted 8 ships. Let's take a look at the team score. 4th place in the team. So, yeah, detailed report. 63,000 on the Musashi, 23 on the Massachusetts. 49 on the La Fantasc and 990 on the Shirahatsu. So, yeah, the Finn Yang. 5.2 second base reload compared to the Akazuki's 3.0 and deep water torps that can only hit battleships and carriers. Um, I'm not a fan, but that doesn't mean that you won't be a fan. Wargaming has graciously given me one to give away to a lucky subscriber. So if you would like a chance to win a Fin Yang, here's how you enter. To be eligible for the giveaway, you must be a subscriber to my channel and your subscriptions must be public so that I can verify your subscriber status. Two, you must leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comments section of this video. An example is on the screen. Give me a ping, Vasily. One ping only, please. Three, you also need to hit that like button. Winner notifications. The winner will receive a response to their comment, notifying them that they were selected. If selected, you will need to reply to that notification within the time specified in the comment, or I will select another winner. So make sure that your YouTube notifications are set up so that you get notifications when someone leaves a reply on your comment. Last but not least, when the contest is complete, I will pin a contest complete comment to the top of the comments on this video with the date of the drawing and the winner's name. No other notifications will be given. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Fin Yang. If you did and you know someone else who also might enjoy my content, send them my way. But until next time, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.